What's up, Plant Junkies? Jody here for another plant video from PlantJunkieCreations.com. I'm going to be going over the plant basics of this beautiful Hoya Bella variegated, also known as the Louise Voice. I'm also gonna be showing you how I successfully propagated these and how to propagate them. So I have two types of these plants. I have the Louise Boyce, the variegated version, as well as the Hoya Bella, the green version. Um, this is a more mature developed plant um, that sits in a hanging basket or a hanging pot in an east facing window so it gets that morning light and as you can see it grows up and out so it just makes for a beautiful trailing plant and this one has a peduncle so Given the right environment, it will put off a lot of flowers. This plant grows quickly and is really easy to propagate. So the light requirement for the variegated Louise Boyce actually really likes a bright and direct light. And the more light you give this plant, the, the more sun stressed it gets and develops like a pink reddish color. So if you're into that, give it more light. The water requirement for the Hoya Bellas in general are thirstier than most of the Hoyas. This depends on the pot size that you're using. So these two inch little pots, I actually water on a weekly basis. Um, this pot that's, um, I think this is a five inch, maybe a four inch pot. Um, I also water on a weekly basis. Um, or like seven to 10 days. Um, I typically will water these when I notice the top is actually dry. Um, another sign of a thirsty Hoya Bella, I don't know if the camera will capture this, but you'll see kind of like a, like a wrinkled leaf opposed to being plump. So some of these are plump, like the ones closer, but on the outer edge here, it's a little wrinkly. So it's, it's saying, water me. Um, also, if you're not watering enough, you'll see leaves dropping. Um, frequently, you'll see peduncles forming. And if you're not watering enough, those peduncles will actually fall off. So that's a sign to water. Um, what I find very helpful is actually using a clear pot so you can see how moist your medium is so you don't um, miss that. And that's it. The soil that I use specifically for this Hoya Bella is a thicker mix considering it does like to stay more moist than the other Hoyas. So I actually add a little bit more cocoa core and peat moss base in this mix. And then I add cocoa, coconut husk, as well as tree fern, perlite, and charcoal. And in this one, I notice I have sphagnum moss to hold a little bit of that moisture. So if you just kind of want to examine, um, feel free. And I also use this for, for the variegated version as well. When fertilizing these plants, you typically want to fertilize two times a month during the growing season. For all my Hoyas, I always use the same stuff. I like to rotate between this and these two. Um, this is an orchid bloom that works really well for Hoyas as well to promote those blooms. And then I'll rotate with Gringo Rasta Rise Up and Super Thrive. 
This is not only a fertilizer, this is also a root promoter. It just, all of these fertilizers actually just help the plants give the nutrients they need um, because they're potted and over time they actually lose their nutrients so they need us to fertilize. I'm gonna get into the propagation of this plant and how easy it is. Um, just excuse, I have a neighbor dog that is, I don't like the dog. I really, really don't like this dog. He's super annoying and he really doesn't like my 14 year old Shiba Inu. And I swear one of these days he's gonna wanna jump over this fence and eat her. And so, good thing I have a window here. Um, he makes this like hyena sound, which is piercing and it just, I love animals. I love dogs. I'm a dog lover, but this makes me just want to smack their dog. Anyways, propagating. When you propagate this plant and you take cuttings, it actually promotes a lot of new growth. So with this being a quick growing plant, it just makes for a fuller future plant or sell them like I do. Um, this Hoya specifically is more sought after considering that it's variegated and is a little bit more expensive. So I just figured out how to propagate and I'm here to help you guys do the same. So here is an example of some propagations I've taken. And I think I propagated these about two weeks ago. Um, I did an experiment. I did one in my Hoya Chunky Mix as well as Perlite and put them both in the same environment and they both actually took just, just the same. Um, but I actually prefer the Chunky Mix just cause I can sell it as is opposed to having to transplant it and wait for it to take into the pot before I list it at my online shop. So since I've propagated these, um, there is an, a whole new set of leaves as well as another one coming in the center there. And this one's already sold, it's going out tomorrow. And then this one has actually put off <clears throat> two new sets of leaves. So you can kind of see um, a thicker stem and then a lighter stem. So you can see that this leaf is new and then it's got these two and then a new set coming. So that's how quick it grows. It's just amazing. So where am I gonna take this propagation is I'm actually going to take it from this one before I list this plant because I, it's just going to keep growing. So I am going to take a cutting right here. So this is actually, I'm going to be doing this in perlite. And um, so it'll have this leaf and this whole new run going. And then this lower set is actually going to be putting off a new growth point quickly since it's more established. And I keep saying, actually, I'm very sorry. So take some clean, sharp shears and choppity chop. So I'm just gonna cut at the base. Try not to let it zoom in on me. So cut at the base of that. Voila. So here's my cut. I mean, ideally, I would like to have this part a little bit longer, but I am sure it's going to take just fine. If not, oh well, it grows quickly. I'll chop some more. So with that gringo rasta rise up as a root promoter i'm just going to stick it in my root promoter tap the excess off stick it 
stick it in my little perlite situation right away. I don't even let it callous. I just stick it right in. So when you're taking the Hoya Bella cutting, um, they want to be in water right away or, or they'll start wilting. So I got it in here. I'm just going to spritz around it to provide that extra moisture. So that perlite soaks up that water that sits sits next to this Hoya Bella. Um, I'm sure this Hoya Bella would actually do very well in what you call LECA, which are these clay almost, I don't know if it's terracotta balls, but they look like terracotta balls. Um, but perlite works really well and so does the chunky mix. I like, I like like I told you, I like using this chunky mix because I don't have to transplant it and wait, but I also thoroughly enjoy perlite because I'm able to see the root development and that's about it. So like when you, what I'm going to do to maintain this is I'm going to put a lid on here, um, sit this in a very warm environment, which I have in my bathroom with a heat light, um, a heat lamp, as well as some grow lights. And I'm just going to keep the lid on there. This perlite's already moist, moist. So I just air this out. Um, I lift the lid up here. And air it out like this once a day. And that's that's it. So what you want to do though is you want to monitor your cutting and make sure that it's not rotting away and that it's taking. And so just thoroughly like when you know like the next day just take a look at it. Sometimes it might look like you know it's wilting. Um, plants sometimes do that I've experienced but with the Hoya Bella like if it's wilting it it's saying that it needs more water um, so I would just provide it more water in that case um, also like I said if you see those wrinkled leaves add more water but as far as maintaining this perlite box you really don't have to do much just make sure that the condensations build up on the side um, um, like once a month you, do you have to to um, mist it it's very simple perlite's very simple um, but with the soil propagations um, in the well draining mix, you definitely want to keep this moist. So I put this in my propagation box, which I'm going to show you at the end of the video. And I, I feel it when it's heavy right after I've watered it. Right. So, you know what it feels like. I also observe what it looks like. The medium's very dark in color. It's moist. And then, um, it'll dry out like in five days in my situation. So I water these like on a five day basis. Um, but if you do notice that it is drier, sometimes, you know, your house has more heat going on. So just water it. And that's it. you enjoyed this video hit that like button also be sure to subscribe to my channel if you enjoy watching plant care videos